Calcitonin gene-related peptide, CGRP, in the treatment and prevention of migraine. A 38-year-old male with a past medical history of depression, hypertension, and chronic migraine was referred to neurology for further evaluation of headaches. He has a history of migraine headache without aura since the age of 16 and has been tried on multiple classes of medications for migraine prevention without improvement in his headache frequency or severity. He has a migraine headache two to three times per week, which is unilateral, throbbing in nature, with associated photophobia, phonophobia, and nausea, and can last up to two days. The headache is non-positional without any red flags. He has tried multiple over-the-counter and prescription rescue medications to include several triptans without significant benefit. His neurologic exam is non-focal without papilla edema. What are his next treatment options? Calcitonin gene-related peptide, CGRP, were discovered in 1982 and were proposed to have a role in migraine in 1985. Since then, they have been a subject of research in migraine. CGRP is released during a migraine by trigeminal activation, and infusion of CGRP can trigger a migraine attack in patients with migraine. CGRP has been targeted for acute and preventative treatment of migraine. Currently, there are four CGRP monoclonal antibodies and one CGRP receptor antagonist, Japant, available for migraine prevention in the United States. Arenumab is an anti-CGRP receptor antibody, and fermenizumab and galcanizumab are anti-CGRP antibodies. Arenumab comes in a 70 mg or 140 mg dose, injected once a month. Fermenizumab is a 225 mg dose and can be injected as 225 mg once a month or 675 mg once every three months. Galcanizumab is loaded as a 240 mg dose, followed by 120 mg injected once a month. Galcanizumab has also been approved for the prevention of cluster headaches at a dose of 300 mg monthly during a cluster cycle. In 2020, eptanizumab was approved, which is also an anti-CGRP antibody. This is an IV infusion once every three months of either a 100 mg or 300 mg dose. Rimajapant, a CGRP receptor antagonist, Japant, has been approved for the prevention of episodic migraine. This is an oral medication given as a 75 mg dose once every other day. Side effects of the CGRP monoclonal antibodies include injection site reaction, hypersensitivity, antibody development, and specifically with arenumab, hypertension, and constipation. There may be other side effects which have not yet been identified, and long-term safety data is limited at this time. For acute migraine, there are two Japans currently approved for use in the United States. Their mechanism of action is as a CGRP receptor antagonist. These are Ubrojapant and Rimajapant. Ubrojapant comes in both a 50 mg and 100 mg dose and can be given up to twice in a 24-hour period in some patients. Rimajapant is a 75 mg dose once in a 24-hour period. Both medications are primarily metabolized via the CYP3A4 pathway. Urojapant dosing can be adjusted based on the patient's medical history. In summary, episodic and chronic migraine leads to a significant morbidity in patients. Having another preventive agent option that does not carry significant drug interactions is a useful tool for migraine prevention. Additionally, CGRP monoclonal antibodies may be helpful for patients who have previously failed to respond to other preventative agents. For patients who are non-responsive to triptans or for whom triptans are contraindicated, the Japans offer another option for the acute treatment of migraine. For our patient, it would be reasonable to consider the use of a CGRP monoclonal antibody for migraine prevention. It is also reasonable to trial a Japant for acute migraine due to the lack of response of his migraine headache attacks to over-the-counter medications and several triptans. 
For more information on the CGRP monoclonal antibodies and CGRP receptor antagonists, including an updated consensus statement from the American Headache Society on how to integrate these treatments in clinical practice, please see the course resources.